Hello there. So, in this tutorial, we'll be downloading the OnePG template and creating the, a simple website, like the simplest like, template, pretty much. I guess so. We're gonna go to this folder. You can go to any folder. We're gonna make a new folder called Bot1PG. Okay, so we go to Bot1PG. Now we're here. Cool. Okay. So what we can do is we can type. We're just going to git init. What git init does is creates a repository. An empty one. Now git remote add. We're going to install the 1pg demo repository as a template. So git remote add. And then github.com slash the adamjr. Oops, and then 1pg dash demo dot git. Oh, sorry, I forgot to add origin, which is the name of the remote, the git remote repository. So now we can type git remote view, check if it's added. There we go, origin is like the default name for this. So now what we can do is we can type git pull origin master and that will pull, it will get the files from here and then it will install basically there we go if we type dir here we can see what's inside the folder we can type explorer dot okay we can type explorer dot to see what's inside the folder here but most importantly we can type code dot open visual studio code there we go boom this is what we'll be using to edit our files in here. So, if we go to readme, we get a, a config.json, which is required. So make sure you paste that in like that. So, we're just going to go to developers real quick. We're just going to use a different bot, 1pg demo it was, sorry. Client secret regen, make sure no one hacks me. Oh, we're not using the secret, we're using the token. We'll use, we'll add secret here, eventually. We'll get to it. So we're going to paste this in. So that's the token. 1pg demo, that's the database. So that's all set up. So we're ready to go already. That makes sense. We can press F5. Oh, cannot find module discord.js. I forgot something. Let's go back in here. Or alternatively, we can close this. We need to install the packages. npmi. That will install everything we need. Okay, so whilst that does that, we're going to make a folder here called dashboard. And inside we're gonna make a we're gonna make a file called server.js. It's gonna name it TS, but there we go. JS. And then we're gonna import using common JS, we're gonna import express. What is express? It's a web server web framework more specifically it simplifies a lot of things we can do basically okay so it simplifies a lot of things we can do we, we're going to add this boilerplate code here so this is this creates a web server in like a few lines of code basically which would usually take a lot more that's why we're using express. So what we do is we type npmi capital S for save express and then we're just going to copy this here or we can just type it const express I'm just going to require express so we can just paste it in. So what is app? const app equals express. So express here, let's go into it it's a function here. It is a function. So if we 
express, as you can see, dot, we have many methods. It is indeed a function. So app, so we call it to get the app variable call. And we have lots of helpful things, but we just want to listen to port 3000, which is the default port. But there we go. So we're going to, after that, we add a callback to console.log that the server is live on port 3000. But we can make that dynamic instead of 3000 hard coded. Is a variable called part. There we go. Cool. And sometimes they type process.env environment dot part. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. So it's capital part or this. So if there's no process part then use 3000 by default. Cool. So that's that's not going to work. Why is that not going to work? Well, we can type node server.js, but we're actually we're going to go in here and type require at the bottom here. So we want the bot to load first. Require dashboard dot dash dot slash dashboard server. Now, we're going to press F5, and it works, it's logged in. Server is live on port 3000. Obviously, if we remove this import, it does not have any connection to the app, so it doesn't know what it's doing. It doesn't, this file is ignored. But there we go, we have our first server. So now if we connect to localhost 3000 here, it says cannot get slash which means the root route which we'll get into the next video but if we go to any other port it should not work that means the server is listening on this port which is good that's what we want there we go